Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about unsolved riddles in physics and today I'm talking about Dirac's large number hypothesis. So Dirac loved uh, numbers and he loved to explain numbers. Uh, there is another video about the fine structure constant but one really mysterious number nature provides us with is the ratio of the electromagnetic and the gravitational force. And if you look at the hydrogen atom, you can, it's well known, the, the electric force here, but you can calculate also the gravitational f attraction between an electron and proton. And it turns about that the electric force is, is much, much stronger. Okay, uh, 2.27, 10, uh, 10 to the 39, okay? Absolutely high number, almost 40 digits and yeah, the question is, why are the two elementary forces of nature, electricity and, and gravitation, why are they uh, at, at such a different strength? And Dirac was desperate because he couldn't explain it. He pondered over years over this question and eventually when in the, um, in the 1930s the first mass and, and uh, size estimates of the of the universe came out after the uh, discovery of the Hubble redshift, then he realized, okay, let's uh, look at the largest scale in the universe, which is the size of the universe, and the smallest scale, which is the size of the proton. And there we are, again, almost 40 digits in size difference. And uh, he said, this is a very intriguing coincidence, and there might be a deep connection between uh, atomic physics and cosmology and but what most people don't know there is even another coincidence so we don't stop here if you look at the mass of the universe and you compare it to the mass of the proton it's uh, the square of this mysterious number about 10 to the 80 okay you might also say that the universe contains more or less 10 to the 80 particles and um, it's in independent because um, uh, the mass of the uh, of elementary particles could be one million times higher okay and uh, there could be uh, much less particles one one million less particles and and so the first coincidence will still hold but the second not okay so we have a very intriguing um, two coincidences and I believe this is it's too much, it's not just a coincidence. There must be a relation. The problem is that <laughs> if, you, if you believe uh, in Dirac's coincidences, you have to throw away current uh, models of cosmology. And uh, so people don't, uh, don't really like it. And uh, as I explained in another video, uh, there is another, if you play with the numbers and the constants of nature, there's another form of the first hypothesis you can also write this as uh, Planck's constant of uh, Planck's uh, quantum of action is approximately the speed of light times the radius times the mass of the proton you may even add a factor of p, o, uh, p over 2 but uh, that's very intriguing and sometimes uh, but this is just another form of, of uh, Dirac's uh, large number hypothesis. Sometimes people come up with all kinds of strange coincidence between um, constants of nature, but uh, if you look closely, they all boil down to Dirac's insight uh, in 1937. So that's really intriguing and it continues to puzzle me. If you like this, don't forget to give the thumb up and if you are interested in fundamental physics subscribe to this channel.